I'm going to show you two ways to update your iOS, including how to do it when your phone does not have enough free space for the update. So the easy way to do this is to go to your settings, general, and software update. Your iPhone is pretty good at automatically updating the iOS, but especially when bigger updates become available, you have to manually update your phone. I have a smaller incremental update available for iOS 17 up top, and on the bottom I can choose to update to the latest iOS 18. These update files are pretty large, and if your phone's storage is close to being full, you might get an error saying that there's not enough free space for the update. Apple has improved this over the years, and your iPhone is now smart enough to temporarily offload some apps and files to make room for the update, and then bring all those apps back once the update is completed. But in some cases, even that's not enough, and you'll need to give your phone more storage. Deleting files and apps is one option, but there's actually a better way to do this that doesn't involve deleting anything off your phone. The easiest way to update when you're low on storage is to connect your phone to a computer. On a Mac, you'll see your phone show up in Finder, where you can choose to update iOS. You might see a prompt saying there's purchased items on the phone that haven't been transferred to your computer, but you can skip that part. I was having a weird issue where the update was not happening, and it was because my system needed a small software update first. The annoying part is that this software update prompt was hiding behind my Finder window, so it's easy to miss. This first step updates the software on your computer, and once that's done, you can move on to updating iOS through your computer. When you do it through a computer, all the update files are downloaded on your computer, so you won't have any issues even if you're running out of storage on your phone. You'll also have the option to back up your phone before updating, and that's always a good idea. I'm using iCloud backup, so I skipped that part, but I recommend to always make sure you have your important stuff backed up before big updates. These bigger updates take a while, so now you'll just sit back, let the update finish, and once it's all done, you can unplug your phone and enjoy the latest version of iOS. Hope that was helpful. Slap that subscribe button on your way out, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.